Greetings and salutations, everyone. It's time to head back into the COGS for sweet COGS part B, number B. We're going to do Smash and Burn next. It's just right around the corner over here. Uh, it It is my least favorite. I know I said that I did not like the last one, which is also true, but this one is really my least favorite. Uh, I don't think it'll be a big deal on this particular build. This build is very good at dealing with lots and lots of enemies uh, and dealing with like alerts. But this quest is kind of a pain. It's got a lot of Mario moments in it, in uh, distance, which depending on how my lag feels on a, any given day, either is great or is a massive nightmare. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. The Boromar clan has set up a smuggling operation. So we're gonna go ahead and Lieutenant do our Kane buffs here. You that, disrupting their operation and we probably shouldn't though. We should probably talk just a minute well first, but that's fine. Alright, so let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation about these puzzles. These puzzles I would don't know where they're from. I don't know if they're completely invented by by the DDO folks or whatever. But I find them personally to be a bit of a pain. So if you look down below, it tells us how to solve the puzzle. So we're going to step on this one first, and then this one, then this one, then this one, and then that one. Go to the wiki. DDOWiki.com, page, smash and burn. Don't, don't fight it. Obviously, the first time you go through, spend a little bit of time, see if you can figure out the puzzles on your own. And then realize that they're such a pain that uh, it's not it's not value. They are great. They are interesting puzzles, though. Stumbled across a secret room. All right. But it hasn't been left before. So we have a couple of golems here. this ice soul of the golem here he was cold as ice probably shouldn't we probably should have dealt with the other guy first but they are flinging little spears at us I don't want to get deal with the ice dot if I can help it does it look like they're flinging little spears at us yeah all right now let's have a conversation about this quest, the puzzle, and the brute force method. So we took the puzzle route, and we opened up this D door that'll take us a little bit in the back door, a little bit back, back ways. However, there is a big door here, and we could open this door. There may, or, I believe, there's traps. This door's hinges are coated in rust. Yeah, and it will spawn a bunch of monsters coming at us. Pretty much everything at once. Maybe there is a way to get inside. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you don't want to go that way. Uh, I've been going the, through this dimensional door basically since we figured out that first puzzle. Um, I'm not gonna say that it is the the superior way, but it's the way that I kind of learned to go about it and that of course you know is the point of these videos is showing you how I have been doing the quest um, then what I'm going to do is we're going to get whatever high ground we can and start clearing clearing these monsters trying to oh no we fell trying to like clear as much aggro as possible and keep our alert as low as possible without putting ourselves in the corner Without getting too much of an alert. Gotta be really careful on what we shoot so we don't over pull. We will probably have a dungeon alert problem in this quest at some point. I feel like you always do. But if it's, if it's aggroed on us, we want it, want it dealt with. 
preferably before they cast even more grease spells on us. Alright. So we're gonna we're gonna clear oh, what's going on? Suddenly can't can turn sideways for a moment. Alright, so we're gonna continue to clear aggro wherever we wherever we see it. We should be pretty there's a little bit more somewhere down here. Spellcaster. Two more spellcasters. Alright, looks like we're in pretty reasonable shape again. So, push a button. We're gonna push another button. Now we're gonna solve this puzzle. Again, I'm gonna glance at the wiki, make sure I'm facing the correct direction, which uh, we look good. We're gonna hit this, this button first, then this one, then that one, then this one, and then that one, all right. So, number one. You gotta be really careful that you don't end up double jumping on some of these because of lag or whatever. If you mess them up, there is a way to put them back or a solver in general. I would like to just get the solver in practice so I can learn how to do these puzzles on my own. But I have not uh, kind of made the time to make that happen. All right. So this one, this one's number two. Boink. We're going to jump up here and wait and just make sure that it, in fact, did not go before we jump on it again. Then here. And then we're going to fall on that one. So we'll jump down over here. Fall back to this one. The vault door tumbles. Nice. Surely dangerous. Right. Uh, there'll be traps along the way and a couple of like uh, bear traps and a couple of uh, stone golems. Nothing, nothing unbearable for sure. to like hibernate through this part of the quest it's pretty quick right, again I believe there's like two more I think there's one on each side uh, doesn't appear to be the case so we're gonna push these ghost buttons and there it is I knew there was another one in here let's check for more real fast I believe that should lower that force field behind us Again, there's some trash, so let's start working on picking it up. Waiting for things that we can, can easily pick up from line to side without, without attacking anything else too like closer. So those two are kind of blocked, how this can be. Out to oh, yeah. Okay. And now those guys have finally waken, woken up to our presence. See how quickly, how quickly we uh, turned into a yellow dungeon alert. We went from no alert to yellow in blink of an eye. Probably because we targeted the wrong guy at some point. I wonder if... Those dinosaurs are like 
ever used to make the world's biggest chicken wings or chicken legs. But that's basically what dinosaurs are, right? They're big chickens. Essentially. They're delicious. I bet that's the real reason why dinosaurs went extinct. We probably have it all wrong, and man and dinosaurs probably did coexist until we figured out how delicious they were. But a lot of work, so. So we encourage them to become chickens and, and eat them. Oh, hey, you know what else we probably should do? We should probably actually use our bard's ability to give us the iron skin chance, since that's the reason why we purchased this one instead of the, the previous one. That was probably absolutely insane when you could uh, displace others. Uh, the lab is logged back on, so we'll have to shoot my message here in a minute. All right, so there's there's a couple of couple of pieces of trash back there. We see a glowing barrel, which means there's some sort of key. You pocket the iron key you found. There's sure to be a use for it. There are a couple of different keys floating around. Uh, I'm trying to recall if we need the keys if we can open locks. Don't remember, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but we did see a silver key when we were tabbing around in this direction, I think. Just kind of peek around. I think there's only one scout. We should just knock it out. Yeah, I don't... I'm not targeting it now, so we'll just pretend like it doesn't exist, I guess. For now, until we have to go, like, detour back to the beginning to find it or something. The door is sealed shut with a heavy silver padlock. The yeah, key is may be key. hidden somewhere among the shipments. Or perhaps you can find another way to proceed. Considering we now try like three times to manhunter the the dinosaur there. All right, so this portion of the quest is like a locked-in scenario. We're not physically locked in, but these things leash very quickly. So we're gonna rebuff. And we're gonna take things out very very fast, and we have to stay close to the pool of lava. Let's see. Got some sort of some sort of reaper here. Problematic reaper at that. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. First, first again. I think we're gonna have to run away. Whew, it's a good thing they leashed. We would have gotten wrecked there for sure. I don't even see where the big points of damage came in. Which I guess is often an issue I have though, if I'm being honest. And now you're gonna sing me a song. Alright. Take it. Ooh, nice. Twice as long as the other guy's song. ourselves back up. Uh, I do think we have to smash all those guys down. I'm not a hundred thousand percent sure. We have another two minutes of that basically, so 
in reasonable shape. He must have just got hit by one of their one of their fire jets. I mean, as we as we know about fire guys, their backpacks have jets for sure. All right. You jangle the iron padlock, but the door remains tightly sealed. There's no way around it this time. You'll need a key. The door is securely locked from inside. In any case, the flames rising behind it would make it impossible for you to proceed. A few remaining capitals scramble out right. of this chamber, screaming and So panic. let's, uh, we're gonna pick off whatever we can see right here. We do need to go back and do that silver, silver room, silver padlock room. That's the smuggling supervisor, and again, we're gonna be basically locked in with this danger and nonsense. As you enter the room, you hear someone barking orders from above. It's intruder! Protect the special cargo, you city hammers! We'll make them pay for messing with the bomb And what I'm gonna just do is I'm just going to make them come at us. Um by going up and down the, well, maybe less up and down now, but a little bit of up and down. Separated as much as possible so we don't get teamed up on too hard. And we had the ability to range most of the guys up top down. Still have at least one dinosaur chasing us. Yeah, I swear I heard a dinosaur shooting at us. I guess dinosaurs don't shoot, they claw. That made a really interesting uh, attack, wouldn't it? I pushed the button, no for you pushed the button. Alright, buttons are pushed. Special cargo is smashed. A button over here, and... You hear distressed cries and the pounding of fists on wood. The commotion seems to be coming from the antechamber. I think that uh, it's just it opens this area here. The air grows warm around All right. as you enter this room. We have a couple more Four puzzles. Drift over the this one Their is, uh, I think, relatively obvious. This one, that one, that one. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Let's see if it'll let us. Let us do all the jumps here. Nice. All right, we have one more. This one is even more obvious, I suppose. You gotta get both of them to two. So, boink. Boink. You have disabled the last yeah. security mechanism. We did it. We did those two. All right. Puzzle is solved. Now, we have to smash three special cargos, defeat what's left of the forge race in this room, and then theoretically loot everything that's not nailed down. For sure. Uh, if we can find any more buttons to push, we'll do that. There should be a couple in this room, I think. Don't know if we have found all the buttons to push uh, besides the ones in this room. Um, and obviously we have not been smashing crates along the way, so we'll probably skip that one. I don't think I can get that guy from this, this angle. Alright, so these buttons that are around, 
they're a little bit not always easy and obvious to see and you can't like tab to find them just admittedly adds to the uh, spectacle here of, of tracking them down uh, but you can however now I believe tab target the special cargoes so that will, that will help also they added this ladder here before this ladder you used to have to jump on this and like it was a real challenge to, to make that jump consistently in my opinion So I feel like that ladder was a good change. It could have just been a box, or they could have just scooted that other box to the left or the right a little bit. I guess you can't slide it more into the wall, but they could have slid it out from the wall a little bit more. Would have been okay. Alright. Now we have a forge wraith way over there. I'd like to be able to shoot it from way over there as well. Alright, well now it's on its way over here, so that's great. The last forge wraith dissolves into a small. Alright, so now we got a couple of buttons to push. I believe if we hop around, there's a button over here by this region cabinet. And I think the other one's over there on the thing. We can see it there on that side of the map. So, let's jump onto here. How long? We have 20 seconds on, on our jump spell, or our feather fall. Let's try to take advantage of it. Again, some people are not great at Mario skills. Sometimes I am one of those people. Sometimes, on the other hand, I am very lucky. So I haven't seen the little green button for the... No! All the way down. Okay. I didn't see that green on the other side. I feel like you can usually see the buttons okay. The, the green if you're fortunate. So just run up here and see if I was correct. Got it. If you're going to take this ramp up, you do have to walk on it. Silly me. sure what's going on here. Did my jump spell wear off? I feel like we're not jumping as high as we should. I did. No team deducing what was wrong. I feel like we did not jump as high as we were supposed to here. There's the other button. I did think it was here, didn't I? You feel a sense of accomplishment. Alright, so now we've got the... We got those out of the way. So now we just gotta get two more special cargoes. They are, I believe, hiding in this room. They can be ranged. Oh, there's one. Get out of here. There's the, the other. Of the nice. Cargo crates is smashed. This was probably the smoothest I've had this quest go for me personally yet. Uh, 23 minutes for 21,000 experience. Let's call it 417 favor. Like I said, this is probably the one that I like the least uh, overall. So the fact that this went this smoothly, I think it's a pretty good sign that I may be finally getting a hang of the quest. And I am pretty okay with finally getting a hang of this, this quest. But also, like I said, they made a couple of changes that I think make it a little easier. Mark IV. This one happens to be Mythic 2. We have some other ones. I just don't remember what their, their bonuses are, if any. So 
So let's see. We, only optional we didn't do is break the rest of the goods. That's fine. I'm not worried about breaking breaking things optional. People can figure out how to break things. People don't need me to teach them how to break things. People have been breaking things for for generations. All right, then we have one quest left out here in the cogs, and it's way down here in the cor in the corner. Uh, the easiest way to get there, you need a double recall back, or it's so close. But I run through this middle section. Why did our horse dissipate? I heard it go Winnie. So anyway, uh, it's a pretty quick one to get to. It's pretty obvious. Not like a couple of the other ones where it's hidden up or down, or you gotta run back and then double back to it. At least the way that I know how to get there. Whew. Sharp stuff. Not strong stuff, just sharp. Kind of like if you ever had like a. A sharp cheddar that just like surprised you. All right, you can see the quest door right up there. So you have a couple of different ways to get up there. I tend to go up these rocks, so I don't have to like double and triple back around and whatnot to get up here. Uh, but you can just run over there and then go up this ramp. But you you have to do a little bit of zigzagging to get up here. So that'll just call my pony clip cliff climber what are those there's After like a way into the a class of ruins, trucks that climb up hills right a dark chamber. i forget what they're called climb up mountains okay creatures loyal to dask are stirring up trouble in these ancient hobgoblin ruins Perhaps if you gave them a gentle thrashing, it might teach them. A gentle thrashing? Goblins are hard at work there in the room. When they notice you, is there such a thing as a gentle thrashing? Generally, thrashing involves like beating until the, the separate the wheat from the chaff, right? Hmm. Suppose you could do that gently, because you just want to get the wheat separated from the chaff. You don't have to. Club it to death. I don't know though. I'm not a not a big like flower guy, so I don't know. All right, this quest is again pretty straightforward. This is another one of the ones that people like to run for experience. Uh, the rate of return on it is very high. You just have a you know, a couple a couple dozen monsters to slay and. Uh, there's like no real puzzle type action. The only real obstacle is if you want to get conquest, uh, there's like two the, the tunnel forks. This is the this is towards the end. So if you want to get conquest, you want to take the the fork here, kill all the monsters, and then turn around and go do the other go do the main section. The bugbear and his cohorts have been defeated. Sweet, some thieves tools. I always use more of those. All right, this room's got some interesting things to it. Uh, grunts are gathered in spacious chamber, rigging explosives to a large heap of boulders. This collectible uh, is not in use currently. The two lilac gemstones here. Uh, I believe there's also some other items that come out of here that are also not in use. I, I think. I feel like there's two. Uh, but I could be incorrect. There might just be one. But of course, you know, 
Doesn't mean that you don't click on it. You never know when you're going to get a special collectible. Uh, then the second thing that's kind of interesting is monsters will, in a certain point, monsters will continuously spawn until you kill this uh, this gateway. So you want to you want to be kind of now you have a chance to find out more quick that they were trying to unearth. You pull the lever. Triggering an explosion. But at the same time, like you don't have to rush because the monsters are not that scary. Look at the size of this gnome. Like I'm, I should be on the short list for the world's tallest gnome. And way bigger than me. Oh, it's because he's a Rashasha. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be a Rashasha? Transforms before your eyes. A Rashasha. So there we go. Alright, so 12,000 experience in 4 minutes. Pretty good rate. So then you walk back up and pick up the chest here. Another arc. Ratchet. Uh, this Must one happens to be Mythic remember. Boost 2. That's not bad. It's a reasonable throwing you star if you're a throwing star build. Uh, obviously, the raid throwing star is the best. But the not bad. Alright, well, that's the cogs. So we can go get Another our cog saga. Notice that had we. I'm not going to let me finish out of the quest by clicking on the door. Okay, well, joke's on you. I want to go here anyway. But uh, notice had we had our... We had taken the two Sagas experiences. We would cap out by taking this Saga, I think. Uh, the experience Saga. So, anyway. I'm going to take the Caustic Compound again. That should give us two of this and two of that. And, uh... Yeah, that'll give us a little bit of more wiggle room to do one or two more quests this life before we hit level 20, and that's what it's all about. All right, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. Don't forget to thumbs up these videos if you enjoyed them. If you have questions, comments, please leave them down below. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Toodles.